And if you keep on asking, I'll just keep saying so This isn't what I wanted Channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my fake tanning routine and eyebrow tinting routine. I've always been super pale and I've never really actually been one of them girls who do a like religious tanning, you know, session every single week or every month. I've always remained quite pale. I do love my pale skin, um, but recently since doing all these comps, I've been doing a lot more tanning and I actually am starting to prefer having nice glowing tan skin. Now I do have anemia, so recently I've become increasingly like obvious pale, like white. I look like a ghost. So I decided that I probably should keep up uh, like a pretty frequent tan just to sort of make me look a human and not like a alien. <laughs> so I don't like going super dark with my tan. I never have, um, even when I have gotten spray tans from a salon before, I've never liked going super dark. I love a light, glowy, natural tan. And as you can see here, that is what I have achieved today. So as well as the tanning routine, I decided I would show you how I like to tip my eyebrows. Now this may seem boring to some of you, but I love like I love tinting my eyebrows. I just find it very therapeutic. It's very quick. It takes no less than you know No more than five minutes So I decided I would show you because it might actually save you a little bit of money Because if you do go to the salon quite frequently to have them tinted You can be paying anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars each time you do have your eyebrows tinted when it's just so simple and Affordable to do it at home. So I decided I would show you how I do mine because I like to do mine very particular. I like to be nice and clean and neat. And I thought maybe that would be something that you know I could share with you guys and you would you know love to see it as well. Let's just get straight into the video and we'll start off with my tan. All right guys, as you can see here is my left beforehand and right is directly after I have applied my tan. So the night before I actually did this video, I went ahead and used a salt body scrub and I went and exfoliated my skin all over. This just pretty much removed all my dead skin cells, it, you know, it helped to clean the body completely and prepare it for the tan. So I've just gone ahead and taken a moisturizer and I'm going to apply this into the areas of my body that I don't want the tan to grab to. So this is going to be my feet, my knees, my wrists, my elbows and my underarms. Then taking my Bondi Sands in tan medium shade on a J Bronze Mitt, you can use any mitt that you like and prefer. I'm just going to go ahead and pump out a few squirts onto the mitt and pretty much buff it into my skin in circular motions. So I like to work my way from my bottom upwards, so doing my legs first and then moving up to my belly and upper body as well. So rubbing it all around, um, what I like to do with my tan is I like to apply it to my larger areas first and then I get to use the mitt as it is with no product on it and run it over all those areas that I moisturize. This just, you know, helps to not apply a huge amount to those areas because I obviously am trying to avoid it grabbing. So here you can see I've got one leg done and there's a clear difference there. All right, so here is a few helpful tips. First of all, avoid peeing on yourself in the shower. Now, I know some of you do it. I'm, you know, not going to lie. I definitely do this. I'm a culprit. I know it's disgusting, but hey, it happens sometimes. <laughs> so don't pee on yourself in the shower. So the reason why I say this is because pee has acidity in it and it actually removes the tan off your skin so if you pee on yourself in the shower you get to take the tan off where you peed <laughs> so don't pee on yourself in the shower um, and what and the same again you know in the shower don't use soap to wash yourself when you get in the shower just wash yourself with warm water it just helps to keep that tan on because some body soaps can be quite harsh and remove the tan as well and then when you're hopping out of the shower Make sure you pat yourself dry. Don't go rubbing yourself vigorously because it's just going to take off all the tan that you just took so long to put on. Then I'm just going to be taking my robe and I'm going to wear this around for the next hour or so. That's how long it takes to develop. I may leave it for a little bit longer depending on how I feel about the color. So wearing a nice light piece of clothing helps to avoid any rubbing of the tan off. While that is developing, I'm going to move into my eyebrows. As you can see here, I've got all my products laid out. I will explain them as I go along. 
So taking my tint developer and the tint cream as well, I'm going to mix it up into this little dish to the right ratio that's recommended on the bottle. I'm then going to go ahead and take some Vaseline and a cotton bud and I'm going to apply this to the skin around my eyebrow hairs. This just helps to avoid any mess getting onto my skin and staining. Then I'm just going to be taking my brow brush and I'm going to apply the product onto my brow hairs. So the reason why I like to use a brow brush for this is because I naturally go ahead when I do my makeup and apply a brow gel pot to my eyebrows and I use this brush, this brush exactly to, um, to apply my brows. So by using this with the tin, I actually get the same shape and, you know, look of the brow that I'm going for and it just helps to make it nice and neat as well. So taking some clean cotton buds, I've just gone ahead and cleaned up any lines that have gone out of control there. And I've also feathered out the color on the inner corner just so it gives it a lighter look as it heads towards the inner corner. So I'm going to leave this on for two minutes because that's a recommended developing time. You may leave it longer depending on how dark you like it. Once that's all ready to go, take off the eyebrow that you started with first because that's going to be the one that's going to be darker first before the other side. And I'm just using a dry cotton pad to take this off. The reason why I use a dry cotton pad over a wet one is just because when I take it off, it leaves the product in the hair follicle itself rather than washing it away. So it kind of develops for a little bit longer after I've wiped it off. That's just something that I like to do personally because um, I like having a darker eyebrow so it lasts longer for me. I really hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because it really does help my channel out. And I pretty much will see you guys in my next video. So until then guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.